Okay everyone, here's a short video for you about the only thing that I found wrong with the Ryobi P516 Sawzall. This thing is pretty fantastic. It's very durable, it's well built, takes a beating, keeps working, cuts through all kinds of things, it's fantastic. The only problem I've had with it. The vibration from this saw wiggles this battery around so much that these contacts stop making a good contact with the battery. They're just spring-loaded tabs down in here and it'll shake and shimmy this battery around until it doesn't contact very well. You won't be able to see it, you'll just notice that occasionally it'll seem to cut out for no good reason. And you'll pull the trigger and then it'll work. Maybe you wiggle the battery a little and then it works. The problem is, when it is constantly missing and not making a good contact, it's making a very hot spot on the top of the battery. I had two different batteries that got damaged because I didn't realize what was going on at first. And the top end of the batteries, all this plastic melted, and it became uh, a big problem. It actually caused the circuit board inside of the battery to fail on two of the batteries. So that's something you need to watch out for. This tool's a great bargain. It works really well. It's very durable. Keep an eye on the battery. Make sure you check this top end if it looks like it's getting warm, warped, melted, whatever. That's the problem. Your tabs in here are not making good contact anymore. Clean them. Bend them in gently just a little bit. If you bend them too far and you shove the battery in, you're going to bend the tabs straight down into the tool. You do that too many times and they'll break off. All right. That's it. It's a great tool, though. Otherwise, just watch out for it.